All right, sorry about that. I'm back. For those who missed the outro, I had to deal with a diaper and then get food for myself and all that fun stuff. So took a couple extra minutes, but I'm back now. Hey, hugs. Welcome back to you as well. Baby's just over sitting. He's actually in the bassinet portion right now. But he, uh... He seems to be enjoying being able to look around at more, so I'm gonna leave him there for a bit. I mean, I just needed food. So, and then baby needed the diaper change. Oh, just choking a little bit. <coughs> and potatoes, I think, need a little more moisture. They're just instant potatoes. Here we go. I'll watch a little bit. Alright. Okay, so. Yeah? I'm gonna put him back in the other part so he can see the stars and see me and stuff. Come here. Oh see, there's your stars. There's your stars. There's your stars. Getting his blanket on. Yeah, very good. Hey, okay. Here you go. Uh -huh. There you go. See? All good. Swallow, don't inhale. Well, I think there was like a little bit of dry part still. Okay. Actually, I want to go through here again. You can almost see the shape of a man and a woman writhing yeah. inside, bathed in drug sweat and dirty linens. Bottles lie around everywhere. You can barely see through. Better not to jump to sensationalist conclusions here. The footprints on the floor, however, definitely suspicious. You lean closer to the peephole instinctively. Okay. I bet they're doing something quite unnatural there. Sensationally unnatural. Yeah, and I looked at these already. I wonder if I can see about the... You clearly see footprints in yeah, the downy carpet of dust covering the potatoes. workshop floor. Yeah? You like the stars, don't you? Where do you want your pass to? They're back. Jackpot. These, and like everything else here, are new. So what does this mean? It means someone snuck through what seems like a secret route leading to the roof. The roof from where you can shoot our victim. This is significant. Okay. These prints, officer, could be the prints of our killer. And if not, 
at least there are good arguments for this Ruby doing it, to present to Titus. Okay, let's have a closer look. Large prints, most likely made by Boots. The size is hard to determine. So could be bigger than Vamp. The or multiple footprints, not called feet prints? <laughs> horizontal lines. I mean, serious answer would probably be because the plural is on the prints, not on the feet or fudge. But I like the question. One person has been here. They've gone back and forth. The tips point both ways. Okay. This print is unlike one left by a regular worker boot. It is not a brand sole with logos on it. It seems custom made or old fashioned. Shoe size is 41 to 42, maybe 43. The penguin. It could be a large footed woman or a small to He's coming to check out my mashed man. potatoes. This is unfortunately we're probably going to take worst, her to the vet most vague shoe um, size there is. when we get a chance because her weight is like extremely low right now like worryingly so we started giving her soft food every day because she eats it and it almost um, it's like more than half of her daily recommend like her daily required calories to maintain her current weight so Between that and that. Okay. The size looks about the same, actually. They're not the same shoe, but they could be the same person. I wouldn't rule out Ruby coming here yet. This isn't an argument against her. People change shoes, you know. But it's not an argument for her either. No, these little horizontal lines are different. They look custom made to me. Or some kind of foreign print. Hard to say. Still a boot, though. Fine. I'm just trying to finish up the potatoes before I give Penguin the bowl. There. Okay. Everything Get up. around you is quiet. The prints crisscross the workshop floor. Yeah? So there's nothing else here. I want to go see if we can talk to um, the lawyer again. It sounded like she's going to be over here somewhere. Also, our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Just us. It's barely a bit. Okay. This is We've done a lot of this already. I'm just trying to see. It's so pornographically poor. It's not even funny. Over there, you can find more of the same. Sharks and trees growing wild. That's the force. An old military yeah. hospital, and it's surrounded. Oh, it used to be during the time of the suzerain. I mean, he could want food again. So, we'll see if he calms down. And After the not, war, then. it was turned into a goodwill hospital for shell shock veterans and folks 
looking for some quiet in the old sanatorium garden. Now the area is crisscrossed with nameless streets and makeshift cinder block houses. Shacks as far as the eye can see. What happened in the hospital? The goodwill ran out. The staff left and the place was shut down. It's long gone by now. She nods, rinsing an Okay. Um, what about this person? Waves are beginning to die down. Look at that. Why does she care about the waves so much? What is it with you and those waves? What is it with waves and fishermen? We need to be out there with them. Fishing, making a living. So I asked them to accommodate me. But until that happens, I can try to assist you the best I can. So, oh? Who? Well, okay. how can I assist you then, officer? Give me a second. I'm gonna see if he wants more food. Shh, shh, shh. At least he probably wants to do that. See if you want a little food, okay? We'll see if that's what you want. Hang on. No. I have this blanket that I used to cover. Yeah? Is that what you want? <laughs> yeah? Say, ah. Okay, hang on. Let's shift you a little bit then so it's a little easier, okay? Oh. <laughs> yep. Come on. Ah. Uh. I mean, which has established this as acceptable. Not that I want to risk it or anything, but. Yeah, I made this little cape out of one of his blankets. So. know if the camera views low enough to see anything anyways but he definitely was hungry so that's okay and he's grabbing my hair right now so Cause there were some like buildings and stuff over here too, so Oh god, is it gonna turn out that we did it? That would sure be something.
So there's nothing new here. I want to do like a full explore of everything now because I want to make sure we're not missing anything. Then we'll come down here. Looks like that looks like kind of like a torture room or an interrogation room. Could say anything different now. The scruffy haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm wondering if these guys will have anything to say about Tequila Sunset. It's you. Your Tequila Sunset. Okay. We've met before. Don't you remember? Nope. No, you sure don't. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you want to know how Tequila Sunset came to be? Sure. Mm -hmm. Let me take a sip to moisten up my cords. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday. And by Tequila Sunset, I mean you, the man, the myth. Is that long? Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. <laughs> this is so contradictory. You got here on Friday to solve a case, hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz. Because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Word on the street is you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer and that it would be really fucked up if you shot yourself in the head right in front of them. That's pretty high concept if you ask me. Well then, gonna work for a bit, you need to get a drink and do the washing up. Yeah, no worries, Kelbach. It is. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. What happened then? It was a late Saturday night when we, the Union of Marabund Alcoholics, were getting our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this. We get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza, followed by a series of dings and bangs. Do you remember the sound of wood cracking? The billboard? Naturally, loud noises pique the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. Okay. Anyway, there was a brief silence. A gasp of silence, if you will. Followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. What we saw was a sight to behold. A beat-up police carriage containing you. Right there on the beach, you revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs. The time hath come! Oh, God. So, naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come. The time hath come for Tequila Sunset, the end of all things. Say nothing, it's more dignified that way. After which, your reality contracted. You jammed the pedal, plowed right off the jetty, and through the ice. You wanna look on mommy's hair? There we go.
The muscles in your right leg tense up. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out, miraculously unhurt. You're okay. Covered in seaweed and shit. Like some kind of sea monster. You're okay. Here, I'll sit you up for a second. Okay. You okay? You all done? You're done? Okay. Let's try to get you in a better place there. There we go. How's that? How's that? Hey! Hey! You can stay here, okay? When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. Oh, in boy. this way, you and your motor carriage have a lot in common. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us, which you naturally agreed to. Of course. We asked about the whole tequila sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and insisted that we all call you that from then on. Oh, God. My real name is Harry. No, that's just what your mother called you. Your real name is Tequila Sunset. Just embrace it, brother. How long did we party Hours. for? Hours. It was an all-night drinkathon. Then, at some point, I think it was Sunday morning, you got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revacholian women. How they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up, and left without saying anything. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's quite a story. Yeah. I bet Tequila's a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work with him. If you only knew. Did I tell you anything specific about the person that fucked me? You were pretty vague about it. But you kept saying you got fucked real hard, and that we've all been fucked, too. No one's fucked me. I do the fucking around here. Abigail. It seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd say you're still working through some shit. Oh, do you now? <laughs> um, did I say anything about my colleagues? You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your style. No specifics, though. It was more about you that night. You were the star of the show. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. Okay. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. Again. Max is just messaging me about his appointment. Uh, shit.
Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Actually, can I check this flower thingy again? Okay. I'm going to just reply to him on my phone because, sorry guys, this is like semi-important stuff. You hold in your hand the colorful primer. The title reads, A Primer for Small Kids. There's a bear involved. Okay. Every page has one word designating one letter of the alphabet with a faded illustration. Most of them are scientific and cultural principles. It goes as follows. Of we'll course, look through this later. Because I don't necessarily want to waste time right now. Because I know she did say she was going up the coast. He's asleep again. If I put him down, though, he's gonna wake up, so. Yes, you will. I just want to see if the lawyer is around here. I don't see anything though. Not yet. Yeah? So far, I'm not seeing her, so... An old door, worn by elements, guards the depot. The wind has blown a sand dune in front of it. 
My guess is that if I door. fail, the handle Move breaks on. or something. You see a handle. So she's not here yet. If she is going to be, she isn't here yet. I'm gonna stop off again in the church. Just to see if she gives me anything new, and then we'll go from there. What is it? You told them to leave? They didn't think the cops in this place had it in them. Um. The swallow, you mean? What about it? Great. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Okay, so then let's go take a look at how this is, like how difficult that's going to end up being. Sorry, my baby's flaky right now. Newborn's gonna have this thing like that causes them to have like a lot of flaky skin on their head. It's you again. What is it? Okay, talk to Classy and now I need to talk to Ruby. Why? She's the next link that leads me to Lily's killer. Sounds like you're making her a suspect in this. Not on my watch, you're not. Ruby's one of us. We're not gonna throw her under your moral intern steamroller. Fuck that shit. And fuck you too, moral fa- Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. You know how it works, guys. That's nothing. That's just legalese. You don't even have a sound theory. I don't want to be rude, but we're trying to get some R and R here. Think you could fuck off now? I think we'll okay, keep then. sticking around, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly a theory presents itself if you keep looking. Okay. Okay, let's try it. A sudden yes. flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its airy blaze. Floor plans, bullet trajectories, webs of human emotion, all channeled into a single thought. Why are you sure, so sure Ruby didn't off him? Because she was here, all night, with us. He's cobbling together shit so he can put her away. It's COP 101. She was here all night, 11.30 to 12.15. She was here during all that time? Yeah, with us, drinking, near the stage there. She didn't go to the toilet? No. That's a lie. Hmm. 
whole 45 minute window she was with you all the time all right she took a fucking leak okay for one moment maybe went out too she has a complex operation to run from her lorry she's a busy girl always has been <laughs> This complex okay? operation is probably something illegal. Just because she was gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot the Merc. I've been through this. It's not plausible. He's been through it. That means he's suspected her too. Hey. All right, we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for sometime during the window. This was crucial. Now let's place her on that roof. You do agree that the shot came from the roof, right? Why not? You can't draw a straight line in a Clausius window from any of the surrounding buildings. Not from what I know about Martinet. Maybe from the coast. But like I said, I've been too busy dealing with you idiots. So no. I don't think it was a sniper. It was close up. Have you noticed the winch up back? I've seen the winch. I'm not blind. You saying she reeled herself up by her collar. Like some kind of... Kidding? Let's go with that. Point is, it's just a rusty winch. It doesn't put her on the roof. Well, there's a secret route to the kitchen. Uh, in the kitchen. How? Oh. Through the abandoned pinball mm -hmm. workshop? People say there was a pinball arcade here. Sometime before the hostel. What was it called, Theo? East Delta Pinball Arcade. <laughs> Weird place. Went bankrupt. Okay. But, how'd you get up? There's no room for a staircase in this building. Or an elevator, for that matter. The elevator is outside the building. It's an old dumb waiter, used for moving pinball machines up and down from the workshop. From there, a door leads straight to the roof. You can just step outside. Ruby could have gone up, shot him, come down. All under seven minutes. That's quite the theory. We need to have a look at that secret passage, boys. I'm on it, boss. Right when the law clears, me and Angus are going up there. It's a dumb waiter, not an industrial lift. How about I go instead of... Just now. You got something else to back this route up? Or is that it? Now, I also found footprints in the old workshop. Footprints? Recent. The tracks were recent, but not worn down in the right foot like Ruby's. It's best to omit this pesky little polemic for now. Too confusing. Recent, size about 43. 43 is pretty large for a girl, don't you think? But then Ruby's what you call a butch girl. She's no daffodil. Yeah, but that's what's so cool about her. It's why we've been thinking... I know what you've been thinking, Glenn. We'll talk about it. Once, the murder charges have been cleared. Hi. Titus, you're not really saying... He's thinking, all right. Glenn gets silence for an answer. Push forward with this theory. Remember the key I found? I don't like guessing, Carl. No one does. It opens the steel door in the kitchen, the one that leads upstairs to the roof. This key was right here with you all the time. Quit jumping to there. conclusions, Theo. You took that key. Did it look like it was recently put there? No, the ribbon was old, faded. It had been there for 20 years at least put it back when she was done Why? this doesn't make sense it's damn interesting but it doesn't fit well and you know it it doesn't fit well 
but it fits. Andy knows it. Okay, we firmly established... Have we established that she had access to the roof where the man was shot? Firmly? Firmly doesn't go well with could have. There's a route to the roof. Me and the boys need to check it out. That's what we've established. But a route does not put that bullet in his head. A gun does that, and Ruby doesn't carry one. Phase two, murder weapon. Get a gun in her hand. If not that, then at least a shadow of a doubt in the shape of a gun. Just don't contradict yourself. If it doesn't sound like Ruby did it, maybe keep it to yourself. But what if you miss interesting information that way? Okay. The choice Welcome is back, Clock. yours. But... We analyzed the bullet that killed him, it was jacketed. So... So it had to come from a breech-loading rifle. Military grade. Not even you militia monkeys have those. This goes against your short-range theory. If the murder weapon was military grade, how did Ruby get it? Just because it's rare doesn't mean you can't get it. Call. That's exactly what it means. No, it means it's hard to get. That wasn't strong. Because there are weapons just like this lying all that the way looks around antique. Russian A's. A bell in the grave. It's inoperable. Where'd you get it? There's a cellar under the bookshop that was hidden there with others just like it. Twenty, maybe thirty rifles, Titus. Also broken, but still, there were too many. And there must be other caches too. God damn it. We need to close that dump down for good. That's a goddamn breech loader, too. Find one that works. You got a military grade weapon that shoots jacketed ammunition. He sees it. This is coming together. There we go. He must. Time to really close the deal. Show them the bullet. The blonde there we go. man looks at the mushroomed Deathbringer in the evidence bag and says, Yeah. The bitch is jacketed, all right. Four millimeter, too. Whoa. Well, goddamn. It's not proof, but it's a possible murder weapon. Close to her. Too damn close. The only problem with that is that we haven't... We don't really have any evidence that she took... That she had one of these guns. You have been thorough. I'll give you that. Okay, I didn't say we proved she had the murder weapon, just that we need to find her. All right. Keep talking. I'm getting a bit curious about some things myself. T, we're not seriously considering it, are we? Try and put him back down again. This. Why would she do something like this? Sleeping Phase three, motive, the last component. It's not why did she kill him, it's why did she organize the cover-up. And I suppose you have a theory on that. She could have just been covering up for herself. Think about it. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? The hanging. You went along, but she suggested it. She had, like, a fully formed plan and shit. Right when she came back downstairs. Really, Shanks? Closio wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan if I'd have been first. Time for a logics demonstration.
Eugene, let's assume you killed him. He scoffs. Think. You kill him. Get up there. Shoot him. Get down. Would you prefer to go on trial with your friends as part of a lynch mob or alone for committing murder? The man is silent. If she used us to cover her own shit up, well, that's a serious violation of the Hardy Code, boss. Which is why she didn't. She would never do that. Why aren't more of you defending her? This is fucking stupid, Titus. Glenn, I thought the same thing when she skipped town and left us in this shit. Oh. Oh, so he didn't rule her out completely. And she skipped town. This is good. Titus, you have to see it. Things don't add up and we need to talk to her. Silence. He looks around the room. The old man in the corner nods. A very small nod. And a trickle of tobacco spit on his lip. This is the only option he cares for. Yeah. I see it. There's one more thing I've been wondering about. Ever since you asked me where she is. Add it to your list of suspicions, if you won't. I don't know. I don't know where she went. She just got up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where. However hard I ask. Wanna know why? She was afraid I would tell you. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would. She knew there's evidence on her. And she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior. Why fleeing is always incriminatory. Perhaps. Ask her if you find her. It won't be easy, though. Okay. She made sure of that. Okay, when did she leave? Friday afternoon, when you first arrived. I got word the RCM was in town. Then she came in to see me. Told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. What was she scared of? I told you. You. As in the RCM? No, you. As in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. What? Why me? I have no idea why she'd be scared. I'm just a normal cop with regular thoughts in his head. Sure. Normal. You know, when I first saw you limping here, I thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply. But now I'm not so sure. What else does she tell you about me? She said you have a funny taste in clothes and that you won't stop. Won't stop? Until you have something on her. She said she's heard of you from Jamrock, that you're a human can opener. That you play suspects against each other. Open them up. Like can. Hmm. And then when they're all empty, just move on. Onto the next can. Don't look back unless there was something you missed. Fucking hell. Titus, did he just open Angus up like a can? Yes, he did. Now, we can whine about it. Whack him, or we can go on with our lives. I'm having a go on with our lives kind of day, Al. How about you? It's not an actual question. Hmm. Silence. He nods. Is it true my can opener? You are insistent. Okay, anything else? Yeah, there was something else. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning. On her lips. This cop, Titus. This cop, he. But she was too scared. Everard has a file on you, but that's bogus. What she knows comes from somewhere else, from Jamrock. It must be real stuff. Like now I'm like even more interested in this. Like, holy shit, what the hell? She's not far. We know that much. She didn't take her lorry, so she's on foot. Good fucking luck, man. 
She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, Elle. And we won't either. She's not really a party candidate anymore, is she? She's not, Glenn. Have you looked Hello. for her? On the coast. Where have you looked for her, more precisely? More precisely, on the coast, past the water log. She's not here, so I'm thinking she's there. Who's doing this looking? They're all here. They're all here, who's out looking? Lizzie needed some air. So she didn't go to tell Everard. No one goes to tell Everard anything. He knows what he has to know. Fast. It's called a radio, you believe. The gardener may have played you a game when she stormed out. She has her own plan. Okay, can you tell me where on the coast I should start looking? Sure. There are some shit houses there. A center block town. The fisher folk there refuse to unionize. So that's one place we haven't looked. I hear they have a shack where junkies sometimes crash. Time for you to step up. We will start so yes, there. that's where we're gonna go. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Boyish. Hair's red. Dyed. She looks like a Lowry man. Okay. It'll have to. His grip is firm hand. and reassuring. Like holding a piece of unpolished granite. All right, guys, I think that that's actually probably... I'm going to take interfacing, though. Um, I think that's probably a good place to stop for now. Um, just because when Mux gets back, I'm going to have to deal with some stuff. So, thank you so much for hanging out. Back with the camera, so... I'll be back with the camera again next time, too. Um... I may not stream tomorrow. If I do, it'll just be, um, like, a couple hours in the morning just because uh, Mux has classes on Mondays and Wednesdays right now. And it's essentially, like, a three-hour thing in the afternoon, so. Yeah. No worries. Got to hang out again before you go to work next week? Yeah, no worries, Alex. I mean, we're friendly stop in, pop, like, pop in, pop out when you gotta here, so. And I mean, technically all seven days a week are open up to me. It's just kind of about whether uh, me and Mox are doing anything, whether I have to deal with stuff, or whether he needs a space. Like like I said, Monday and f Wednesday afternoons at least are going to be off the table for, I think probably, like, I think it's like eight weeks, just because of his classes. Um, he has to do like Zoom meetings and stuff. And then there may be other days that are going to be out. Um, as always, uh, the Discord. Um, there's the role that you can claim that hangs you when I go live. Um, as well as whenever the game changes. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here for the return of the webcam. Um, I am going to go and try to get some stuff done before Mux is back. So until next time, catch you later. And we'll see you guys all later. Bye, everybody.